what's up ladies and gentlemen it's been a minute y'all remember me <laughs> i barely remember me sometimes um we are here on the next little clearing job a bunch of uh set out pines they're not very big some of these outer ones are are decent uh there's a deer cam sitting there looking at me but we are going to be back in a cat 306 this machine um it's not mine it's rented a buddy of mine's got it um uh been doing some work for him at the plant and he asked me he said hey can you come clear me a house lot and i said i sure can so we're going to take the weekend to kind of goof off and hang out and catch up on old times and clear him a uh, house lot we're going to try to get it all done this weekend anyway basically the, the top of this it's a little hill but my gopro's already cut off on me two times so as i was saying we're going to clear this little hilltop off i'm going to kind of burn it as i go because i don't have enough room to even put this stuff he said we could throw it off in here but this machine's just not big enough to really handle that much back and forth and tracking it it'll just eat up so much time but <clears throat> after after this is cleared we'll probably have to bring in a dozer and basically knock this hill top down and this one down so he has enough area for his uh slab so that will probably be in a later video not sure about that just yet so let's go up here and get our chainsaws uh ready to go and see what we can do today so this is russ he's the one i'm doing work for i'm gonna put him right on the spot you camera shy a little bit huh you ain't got nothing to say what about you what you ain't got nothing to say either Look it does youtube you want to be on youtube uh oh. I'm, I'm <laughs> what are you gonna do about that one? I, I, I have one of my own. Here's anyways. Big Russ. Huh? I have one of my own anyway. You got a YouTube? Yeah. What's it called? Uh I don't I don't really remember. You don't remember? No. Boy, how are we gonna get paid? What do you got right here? I make no money. This thing ain't even used, Russ. A little two fifty. Here's a big boss. So I don't even remember the last time my chainsaws have been ran. I brought, I brought this 261 and uh, 462. Last time I know the 462, it was uh, the uh, throttle was sticking on it, so it may may act stupid today. Then a little old leaf blower, so. Let's go get the machine warmed up and uh, get started, maybe. Okay, y'all, so I don't remember how I had my camera set up in my old 306. And also, the thumb control on this machine is backwards from what I'm used to. So it's gonna take me a minute to kind of get used to it. I tried swapping around, but you can't swap it around in the controls like on the screen and it's going to be uh, too much trouble to swap hoses and stuff around so y'all just kind of bear with me oh what is that rebar don't tell them what we're going to find out here another whole sticks of rebar too Like that right there, I was going backwards. Yeah, it'll take me a minute, and then I'll get back on my 313 and everything will be messed up again. So. Little 
machine guard. I did have it turned up all the way the other day when I was on it and I had to turn it back down. I don't remember these machines being that fast, but it's also been a minute since I've been in one. But it does feel good to be back in the machine, I can tell you that. I'll get this little one out of the way here, right over here. This machine can handle this size stuff, but it's going to be a lot for it to really move around. That's why I kind of want to burn it as I go. Come on now. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's, it's hard once you get used to certain controls and then you gotta get on something else that's different.
on the back side. been following me a while y'all know I have took down some big trees with a 306 some of that dirt off pretty good bit on the ground and I got to get it out of my way see around through here how much we've got cleared pretty good little bit so far um, so we're gonna get that lit y'all seen me light a million fires and I'm gonna set y'all up on the time lapse
finally going decent it took a minute but it always does you didn't think it was gonna catch fire did you <laughs> no patience all right we're gonna let that catch up and get me some hot coals i'll start throwing some of this bigger stuff on there it's about time for a snack all right we're gonna get the fire stacked around here it done got hot now Try to fix my logs so they're not all crisscrossed in here. May not be able to. good size machine for you know kind of everyday use or so but and you can take down some big stuff with it but I just it reminds me of how slow it is moving material around I guess you can't really grab a whole lot at one time and breaking stuff breaking limbs and stuff or breaking trees in half it's got a saw a lot more I mean it is a mini X so 
it's only gonna do so much, but it does make me miss having a big machine or being in one. I still got mine, so I'll talk a little bit more later, I guess, about where I'm at. I haven't put out any videos. I still got my equipment, so. been busy with other things. Sorry for the racket. I got a bottle over here that ain't making noise. Like this tree, I'm, it's, I'm basically having to drag it as close to the fire as I can get it before we cut it up because I'm having to make so many trips back and forth. But as y'all can see, it's kind of a aggravating. Pretty much got all the big stuff on the ground. It's now it's just really thick and uh, the small stuff. I don't really have to dig around it a whole lot. Most of them's pushing over with no problem. It's just so thick in here. Everything gets tangled. I really need that one. Though. Still have yet to get used to the thumb control being backwards. <laughs> but I do love this machine. Don't get me wrong, it is a bread size and to still be able to you know pull it around with a truck and trailer or you know a regular truck and trailer it is it is one bad dude it helps having a saw man here too Basically, I haven't had to get out of the machine, not once. It always helps having the saw, man. Crap, I'm a lot further back in here, and I realize right there is the edge of the uh, hill. figure about another day, day and a half out here on this machine anyway. guys and girls i think i'm gonna call it a day on that one russ has gotten in the machine and i might have lost my job <laughs> well y'all i'm back in here the next day we've been working all day at it uh we are just about there i think well still got a little bit but trying to get as much done as we can because this machine's got to go back tomorrow I'm trying to get everything at least on the ground that way it'll be easier when I do crank the dozer but I've got me enough room now that I can basically pick the whole tree up and bring it to the fire and then they can cut it up the problem is is it's a daggone long y'all can see there how long it is Hold on a minute, he's good bringing me a drink. Oh, so as I was saying, I'm just taking the 
whole tree to the fire. Nothing else really left big, about, probably about two more trees right over here that's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to push over, but it ain't nothing no old 306 can't handle. I'll tell you what, this is a, the only thing slows this machine down is just grabbing the material. This thing is strong. I forgot how strong stout these machines really are. It's just like I'm not able to carry that much, so it's better just to... The only way I can carry this tree in one trip is to take it whole, I guess what I'm saying. The uh, bucket and the thumb can't handle... Can't handle the whole tree if we was to cut it up and then grab it, if that makes sense. And I'm trying to uh, make as least trips as possible back and forth. So that's been the process the past couple of hours.
there to hit Russ, but I don't want to hit Michelle. Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Michelle, you're on YouTube also. Of 
the fire too. I got this log and uh, just a few more small stuff to get on here. Good thing is I'm close enough to the edge over there, whatever trees I lay down, I think I can just shove them off the hillside. I don't have to really worry about getting on the fire because we are almost out of daylight. So it's the next morning. This is what's left of our fire. It burned up very well, actually. I was surprised it burned up that much. But this is what we got cleared. <clears throat> the 306 put a whooping on this uh, little clearing job. We cleared probably, I don't know, quarter acre maybe. But uh, I opened this up so they could see that big white oak. We just, I just threw that down in that little gully there. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm impressed with what the, the machine did. We had a little bit of trouble this morning. It didn't want to start for some reason. It's not that cold. I'm out here in a short sleeve shirt, so not sure which it is a rental so i'm sure it's been abused so i'm gonna set y'all up on a time lapse and i'm gonna pick this apart get it stacked back up just let it burn as much as it can then when i bring the dozer over here i'll just take what's left and shove it down in the hole there so uh let's uh get this thing situated before this machine's got to go back last of it let that do its thing today and be back with a dozer and uh we got to cut this hill down a lot to get him enough room to put a house but i think we'll have plenty i'll just take this side basically and move it over here and then i've got a pretty good hump right here that i can use because this needs to be this whole thing needs to be took down a couple feet i'll probably take his topsoil stockpile it over here and then uh take our good dirt and just shove it in that back corner all right guys i'm gonna jump on here and i'm gonna end the video here um we're taking the machine back to where it's got to go uh i just want to i guess talk about the 306 i have a video of the one i had and i did a review on it um getting back in one i enjoyed it i forgot just how stout that machine really is i mean he when you're in it and you're operating it you don't you don't feel i guess how heavy the machine is if that makes sense that the 306 is going to be around 15 to 16 and a half thousand pounds depending on how you got it set up um, this one's got a counterweight on it uh, 
but once you get to pushing and pulling on something like that machine just comes alive to me as far as a mini x goes it's it's the king um because two reasons the power and the still the capability of hauling it around like you don't you don't have to have a 3500 or a bigger truck to really pull it i move mine around with my 2500 it would probably be a struggle with a 1500 truck um just because of the the weight of the machine uh but a 2500 can handle it no big deal and the reason why i say it's king as far as that goes like of course you got a, a 309 and those i consider that almost a class of its own i know it's still considered a mini x but still i mean you got to have a my 2500 moved my 309 but it, it didn't like it at all um i would say for that size machine you would need a 3500 or a 350 you know whatever brand truck you want um but yeah I, I really enjoyed i can tell i'm out of shape as far as being on a machine like my abs and stuff is sore you use a you use a complete different your muscles use different whenever you're in a machine like that and um i can just tell i'm i'm out of shape and as far as that goes like i i just haven't had any content to put out um i hate it i miss doing youtube i miss you know all y'all uh commenting and whatnot um i know uh, every now and then i'll get people to comment and say man where you at uh need to look but um I just, I just haven't I haven't been on a machine. I'll have a video come out after this one that was filmed actually in in July. And I've got to get back on that job. My 313 is still sitting there. Um, I need to get the dozer over there, but I'll probably bring the dozer over here first. But uh like I said, I just I just haven't been on it's been July since I've actually been on a machine and I miss them. I've been very busy with my other stuff, so it's not like I haven't had anything. I really don't have anything to do as far as dirt work and land clearing goes. Um, that side of my business has pretty much shut down, I guess you could say, but it's okay. Um, I've kind of pondered getting rid of my equipment, but at the same time, at the end of the day, I think about it and I'm, I'm like, you know what? That's what I truly enjoy. That's what I love doing. So even if I don't do it for a living, I still want to keep my machines just just for me I mean I know they're very expensive toys at that point but I don't want to get rid of my equipment because I don't care if I'm if I'm driving around the yard at my at my place that's if that's what I want to do that's what I want to do we can all justify spending money on whatever we want and I can very easily justify spending on equipment if that's what I want so uh yeah, just to give y'all an update of where I've been, I mean, I'm still here. I wish I could film the other stuff that we do, but it's just very hard to do it and being allowed to do it, I guess. But uh, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to, I guess, see y'all again. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end that one here. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm sorry I didn't really film a whole lot of the machine, I guess, outside the cab, but I... I I had to get with it to get this to get what we did done in time so hope y'all enjoyed it it's good to see y'all y'all keep your eyes open i'll see you later